Welcome to Yarmouth Frame Shop and Gallery Gallery Conversations. My name is Elizabeth Newman, and we are here tonight with Bill William Hallett. We call him Bill. Yes, and <laughs> we are the first words that I hear when people come through the door and take well, it would be a right turn, is wow, and it's the color. And I'm always finding myself explaining about the color and the main scenes, but I think you would probably do a better job of it. Where is this palette from? Well, um, probably from Mexico. Mm. Yeah, Mexico and me don't normally go together, <laughs> starting with him. But, you know, I, I grew up in Mexico, and I think it became ingrained in me uh, when mm. I was pretty young. Yeah. I was a, I was a kid. So I, I'm used to unusual color combinations, especially. Mm -hmm. So it just comes out that way. It's, yeah. not, it's not really planned. So I think that's part of it. And when you sit down in the studio or stand as you're painting, do you plan your colors? Or do you just start and they just go wherever? What you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Both no. or one or the other? No, no, no. Plan, um, no I don't think I plan colors in advance. It's, it's actually, I mean, each painting is, is a growth mm. from an, an initial idea of what, what might make, like this was a photograph, this is a, a, also a stone, both of these are stone. And, um, and then it's a matter of what you want to bring out in it. And um, in this case, late afternoon, you know, deep shadows. A little artistic license. I love life. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't that be any fun without artistic exactly. classes for me. You no, know. I totally agree. Uh, yeah. So, so then it, it just sort of grows, and if, uh, if it doesn't work, I can just go over it. That's what I like about painting; it's so mm -hmm. forgiving. Yes. Especially in acrylics, because in a couple of hours, you, in mm -hmm. a couple of hours, you can block out what you what you've done, and with an oil, you have to scrape and do other things. Exactly. I'm not interested in that. So most so of it, your it, grow, it grows from initial idea, mm. and sometimes I'll entirely change colors. But to me, what's interesting is what colors do to one another next to one another. Yeah. If it doesn't work, then I've got to try something else. There's kind of a real science about that. You know, a lot of times you're not supposed to use one color with another, but and the artistic license. Rubbish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> well, I mean, I, for me, it is. They anyway. work. And the other thing is what one color does on top of another. Yes. You, don't, you just don't know until you try it. Mm -hmm. You can't plan it out. No, you can't. You don't know what a purple is going to do, or what a, what a red will do over a purple, or vice versa, mm -hmm. until you do it. You know? And um, so that's, each one is sort of a discovery, you know, what's, what's going to come out of it. And so no, it's not planned out. Well, I think part of the fun with your pieces in particular is that it's a surprise. I mean, you don't expect an orange chimney or a pink roof or something. Right. So for people to come in and see that, it just sort of opens them up like a kid would be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's how I, I feel about it. Is that, uh, um, it's got to come and sort of bounce off the wall in some way to the other one is why I have it up there. You know? So uh, I'm, I'm dying to ask also, why the main scenes? What brought you to Maine? Well, I, I didn't actually come here to paint. I came here with a job. Mm -hmm. I was a teacher. So, um, but I always wanted to paint. And I started painting years ago. Yeah. But uh, as I neared retirement age, I, I wanted to devote more time to it. And, um, and now I devote all my time to it. <laughs> but um, I think that um, I want to paint what I see, but I don't want to reproduce what I see. I want right. to interpret what I see. So what I do is local. Mm -hmm. It's all local. It's not abstract. Although I like it. I like abstract shapes. It's close. I, I'm working in that direction. Some yeah. of, some of these very impressionistic. Like that, that little one up there, where it's, yes. it's just sort of um, not only color combinations, but also uh, geometry. Mm -hmm. I guess I mentioned in geometry. And it, and the, the obvious thing for, is buildings. Yes. Buildings are so geometric. Yeah. And they all, and, they, and most of the topics that I want to paint have to afford me the opportunity of color. Yes. Otherwise, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're really lovely and they're very fun, and I hope we have you in the gallery for a very long time. Well, I'm happy to be here. It's a great place to be, and I appreciate all the rooms you've given me here. 
Stonington is yeah. like a yeah, very Stonington special is, place to be. Yeah, it is. And I find myself drawn to it a lot. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of other really things there, but um, I'm, still, I'm still working at it. And like, what I do is often is to, to, to paint large like this and then reinterpret it in, in smaller sizes, and mm -hmm. it turns into a different painting. So you could just like take bits and pieces of them and well, create others. Well, I thought others. about doing that too, yeah. yes. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Well, don't cut anything up. <laughs> Unless you feel like it. <laughs> oh, these are good. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yes. That's that's my favorite. This one here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is titled uh, "Fisherman's or Lobsterman's Wharf" or something uh, like that. Yeah, Being Fisherman's like Shack. Fisherman's it is shack. a Fisherman's Shack. Yeah. yeah, from a photograph. But yeah, I start with the photograph and they just take off. Yeah. And then I don't look at the photograph. Wow. Photographs for design, mm -hmm. not, not for anything else. Well, you wouldn't want it to be. And then I change it too. You know, something's yeah. not convenient. Or I also will add something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like like that lobster boat that wasn't there. No, so it fits perfectly. It seemed to work out. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. very nice. Uh, I like the light and the shadow in your pieces too. They're it's um, dramatic. Yeah. Just like this one here. Yeah, like, I think it's about drawing for me. Mm. Yeah. It's like the stage. Yeah. I stage. I'm not drawing on how fun. That's true. <laughs> anyway. yeah. Well, light creates drama. It does. And light and shadow. Yeah. And uh, what I like about shadow is the colors in the shadow. Mm -hmm. As much as black. Yeah. It's true. They tell you not to use black. You know, I, I think you can, but you obviously well, know what I, you're doing. Well, did a good job. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, no. no, it depends on how, how you use it. But I don't like, I usually do not used black. I mean pure black. Right. But you can make so many blacks on your own with, yes. with reds and greens. And, um, All that depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. yeah. Well, thank you, Bill. This well, has been a, a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.